Hey everyone, today we are going to be answering the question, how can I use the Pythagorean theorem to solve real world problems? So if you did not know, the Pythagorean theorem can be used to solve many problems in real life. That is because, especially when we're building things, you need to verify that you have a right angle. And remember, Pythagorean theorem has everything to do with right triangles. So that's why a lot of people in construction use Pythagorean theorem a lot. So whenever we're solving these problems, here are some um, tips that you can follow. So the very first thing is you need to make sure that you read the problem. I would underline and take note of what the question is asking. That's the most important part. You can do all this work, but if you don't answer the question that they're asking, then you're not going to get it right. And then if you can draw a picture that's usually pretty helpful, I would identify that right angle and where the right triangle is because then it'll be easy to identify A, B, and C and you can plug into the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the missing length and then go back and make sure you answered that question that you underlined when you read the problem. All right, so let's look at this first one. It says a TV has a width of 45 inches and a height of 30 inches. What is the length of the diagonal of the TV? So they're wanting us to find the length of the diagonal of the TV. So let's see if we can draw a picture. TV is a rectangular shape. It tells me the width is 45 inches and the height is 30 inches. And then remember, it's asking to find the diagonal, which that's looking like a hypotenuse to me because in a rectangle, there would be the right angle and the hypotenuse is across from it. So now I can see this right triangle starting to take shape and I'm going to plug into the Pythagorean theorem to find that missing diagonal length. So A and B form the right angle. That'll be 30 squared plus 45 squared equals C squared and 30 squared plus 45 squared is 2,925 equals c squared. And then last step is to take the square root. And the square root of 2,925 is 54, I'm going to round that to 54.1 inches. So we found the diagonal length of the TV. All right, let's look at number two. It says Mark is trying to fit a circular tabletop with a diameter of 88 inches through a door. The width of the door is 36 inches and the height of the door is 84 inches. Will the tabletop fit through the door? So let's draw a picture of what's going on. We have a circular tabletop and the diameter of it is 88 inches. And then we have a door frame that is 36 inches by 84 inches. So we know the diagonal is the longest part of that door that the tabletop could possibly fit through. So let's go ahead and find that hypotenuse by using the Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to do 36 squared plus 84 squared and see what that equals. So 36 squared plus 84 squared is 8,352. And then I'm going to take the square root and the square root of 8,352 is 91.4. So could this table that is 88 inches fit through the door. Yes, it will fit because that diagonal is 91 inches. Okay, number three, a 12 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. If the base of the ladder is four feet from the wall, how high up the wall will the ladder reach? So that's the question we're answering. How high up the wall will the ladder reach? So I'm going to draw a picture of this. Here's my wall. My ladder is leaning up against it and the ladder is 12 feet. And then it tells me the base of the ladder is four feet from the wall. And it wants to know how high up the wall will the ladder reach? 
So on this one, I am finding a leg. 12 feet is the ladder, it's leaning, it's the diagonal, so that's the hypotenuse. So I'm gonna plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm looking for a leg, so I'm gonna leave a squared, just a squared. One of my other legs is four, and the hypotenuse is 12. So now I'm gonna subtract. And 12 squared minus four squared is 128. And I'm gonna take the square root, and the square root of 128 is 11.3. 11.3 feet. So that is how high up the wall the ladder will reach. Okay, number four. The isosceles triangle shown has congruent side lengths of 12 centimeters, that's shown right here, and a base of 10 centimeters. What is the height of the triangle? So we are trying to identify what is the height of the triangle. If you look, there is a right triangle within this right here. But I'm not using the entire base of 10. I'm only going to be using this half of it. So I am going to think of this right triangle here that I highlighted in pink. I'm going to think of it as having a leg of 5, which is half of 10. It has a hypotenuse of 12. And then I'm finding the other leg, which is also the height of the entire triangle. So I'm going to write down the Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to leave a squared as a squared since I'm finding a leg. The other leg is 5 equals c squared or 12 squared. So I'm going to subtract and I get a squared is whatever 12 squared minus 5 squared is, which is 119. And then I take the square root, and I get 10.9 centimeters. That is the height of the triangle. All right, number five. Karen drove from her house to HEB, then to Paula's house. How much shorter would it have been if Karen had driven straight from her house to Paula's house? So that's the question we're answering. How much shorter would it have been if Karen had driven straight from her house to Paula's house? So first thing I need to do before I figure out how much shorter it is, is find the distance from Karen's house to Paula's house which is a hypotenuse. So I'm going to plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. My legs are 3.7 and 2.1. So 3.7 squared plus 2.1 squared is 18.1. And then my last step is to take the square root, and that will tell me C. So the square root of 18.1 is 4.25, so I'm going to round it to 4.3 miles. So Karen did go from her house to HEB and then to Paula's house. So I'm gonna figure out that total distance by adding 3.7 and 2.1 together. I'm not doing the Pythagorean theorem here, I'm just trying to find the total length of what I highlighted in green. So the total length that she went was 3.7 plus 2.1, and 3.7 plus 2.1 is 5.8 miles. So she went 5.8 miles originally. Remember it said how much shorter would it have been if she had just driven to Paula's house directly, which is this length right here, which was the hypotenuse. So to figure out how much shorter the green length or the pink length is than the green length, I'm going to subtract. And 5 
5.8 minus 4.3 is 1.5 miles. So again, we did the green length. We added that together to find the total that she went. The shortcut would have been just going from her house to Paula's house, which is 4.3 miles. So we subtracted those and got 1.5. Okay, number six. Oliver runs a mile in six minutes. Good for Oliver. He left his house and ran two miles north. That is up. So he ran two miles north and then three miles east, which is to the right, and then ran back to his house. What was the total time of Oliver's run? So north and east are perpendicular. They form that right angle. First thing I need to do is find the hypotenuse so I know the total distance he ran. So I'm going to plug into a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So it'll be 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is 13. And then I'll take the square root, and the square root of 13 is 3.6. Okay, now I need to figure out the total distance that he ran. So he ran the whole way around the triangle. So I'm going to add the three lengths of the triangle which is 2 plus 3 plus 3.6. 2 plus 3 plus 3.6. Oops, I missed a 3 in there. 2 plus 3 plus 3.6 is 8.6. So Oliver ran 8.6 miles in total. Remember it was asking for the total time. And he can run one mile in six minutes. So that means I will multiply this by 6 to figure out his total time. And 8.6 times 6 is 51.6 minutes. Okay, last one. Joanna is building a farmhouse style barn door. She is placing two wooden boards in an X position right here as shown by the dotted lines. How many feet of material will she need for the X? So I need to find both of the X's. Those are diagonals to the rectangle. So I just need to find the length of one diagonal. So to find a missing length, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem. There's my right triangle. And I can tell that it's going to be a hypotenuse that I'm finding. So I'm going to plug in to a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And a and b are 48 and 108. So I'm going to do 48 squared plus 108 squared. And I get 13,968. And then I'm going to take the square root. And the square root of 13,968 is 118.2. So I found the length of one diagonal. It is 118.2. But remember, she's going to use two of those boards. So I need to multiply this by two for my final answer. So 118.2 times two is 236.4 inches.